Welcome back to another lesson on Smart EPG. This time we're going to be searching for movies. So we'll jump straight into the EPG and have a look at the uh, timer list with the 5 button. We don't have anything there and as usual nothing in the search list either. So we'll just create one to start with, with the green button, a new one, and give it a name. And obviously the name we'll give it is just movies. So we just quickly type that in and save the search name as movies then we come down to the search text and here we're going to do something a little bit different we're going to be using another piece of information that's included in the EPG data called genre and smart EPG allows us to search for a keyword in the genre the same as what we do in the title or the description we'll just now have a look at a typical info screen for uh, a genre and you'll see in the top right hand corner there the word movie so that's indicating that this program has been tagged with the genre of a movie and this is a list of some of the other genre that are available for the TV networks to use if they want to do so unfortunately they don't seem to use it very often so back to our search we're going to change our search criteria here to search within the genre field it's coming up now there it is and we'll go up to our search text and we've got to search for the word movie not movies because the genre is actually called movie so we'll just go in and edit that word just backspace and delete the s and save that and we now have a search which is going to find anything that has the word movie in the genre and give it 50 points which will create a search now that's a good start but unfortunately the TV networks in Australia don't always use the genre field properly and we'll end up with movies uh, in other categories other than the movie genre. So we're going to create another search to look for the word movie or movies in other fields. So we're going to just enter the word movie here with the star either side of that and like previous searches we're going to search in the title description and ex external description and give that 50 points as well so now with our search if either the word movie appears in the genre or it gets mentioned anywhere else in the uh, EPG data we're going to create a search so now before we save our search we're just going to go down and put some padding at the end of the timer uh, as you've probably realized from trying to record movies in the past, they seem to always run late. So we're going to put uh, 30 minutes post padding on our search and then we'll save that and see what our movie search turns up. So we just now press the green button to save that search. And here we can see the search has found 122 hits for movies. Now let's have a quick look at the list. There's uh, quite a few yellow dots there, which means there's timer conflicts. So as it stands, the top field's not going to be able to record all of those programs. But we should just closely have a look at a few of the uh, timers that have been created. This one here is for, uh, not for a movie, it's, it's got the word movie in the EPG field. So we can probably eliminate that one and not miss out on any movies. So we'll do that with another search term in our search term editor. Now just looking at this list with 122 recordings, I think the easiest way to resolve this is to cut down the number of recordings that we're proposing to make and we'll filter by only recording the high definition channels. So this is movies we're trying to watch and we want to watch them in the best quality possible. So we'll go in and edit our criteria for channels such that we're only going to search the high definition channels. So down onto the channel field, we'll now open that up and deselect all of the standard definition channels. So just running down the list and turning off the ones which are for the standard definition channels. I'll just speed this up in the interest of saving some time on the video and uh, back to our search list editor. We will now have only the high definition channels selected. Now while getting ready to record this video I found a small bug in Smart EPG and that is when you come back in to edit one of these searches if you don't make a small adjustment to this time here then the changes aren't actually invoked. So what I've done is just added one minute there and run the search again 
and I'll just jump back into the search and take that minute back off so that it's, it's still the same uh, search as we had before, only all of the changes now are fully in, incorporated. And so we've dropped from 122 movies back to 20. So now just have a quick look at that list again. Uh, it's much more under control. We've got still got one conflict which we'll sort out a bit later. We still see though we have something in there that we don't really want and that's uh, some episodes of Mythbusters in there. So we're going to go back in and just do a quick and dirty fix by putting in a negative search term for Mythbusters. So we're just going to go green button, add a new search and we're just going to put in something that's a bit cryptic but it will find the word Mythbusters and we can put a negative uh, search weighting on that. We're going to search within the title description and external description as we've done in the past and to make it uh, exclude Mythbusters we're going to put negative number in here minus 10 will be fine so we'll just back out of that now we're going to, we've got our criteria all set same as before but we might get Mythbusters and again we have to do that little trick with the changing the timer on this just for one minute back out with the green button save that and we'll go back in and put the one minute back to what it was before so that looks like a little bit of a bug in the system that the developers back in Europe will probably resolve pretty quickly. Uh, so we've finished now, we've dropped our search list back to 18 recordings now. Uh, we've lost Mythbusters which was our aim. Now we've just got a, one last thing to resolve is this uh, timer conflict we have here. So we've got a choice of whether we want to record uh, how to lose a guy in 10 days which if we look at the info here looks like a bit of a chick flick uh, then the other one is an X-Men movie let's just have a quick look at the description of that one sounds like it's um, a bit more action type of movie I think we'll save that one so we'll just go back up to highlight how's a, how to lose a guy in 10 days and we press the block button which is the stop button you'll see down the bottom of the screen the indication of it as soon as we press that, uh, it will block that timer and then the expend timer will become valid. There it goes. So now we'll be able to record that movie and all the others that are in that list, uh, all 18 of them, or now 17, we've just lost one. So what's going to happen now is each day uh, this search will run again and add more movies to this list as it's completed. I think that's it for this search so we'll just uh, call it quits for the day here and um, we'll try something different next time.